Hello, and welcome to the Round Lake Area Public Library's program, Ugly Art. What we're going to be doing today is taking leftovers from various other programs, along with a canvas provided to everybody, and whatever else you have around your house that you might like to use, and we're going to create something artistic with it. If you picked up a kit, it came with a canvas and a bag of miscellaneous supplies. Not all supply kits were the same, and some of you got a baggie of old ugly crayons, which we thought you could use to melt with a hairdryer to create some interesting shapes and textures. Some of you received a golden trophy that you can use to embellish your art or to decorate by itself, and others received homemade stress balls in the shape of donuts, which you can frost with paint and decorate as you wish. Some got paper lanterns, pom-poms, pipe cleaners, twine, buttons, glitter, ribbon, washi tape, fabric, paper, pine cones, acorns, fake leaves, feathers, tiny baggies of rocks and shells, and scraps of decorative paper. We invite you to also add to the project with any supplies you have around your house or pieces of previous library programs you've never known how to make use of. Whatever came in your bag and whatever you add to it, we hope you're inspired by it to make something completely unscripted and unique, ugly or beautiful, and play with your own creativity. For my first sample project, I had an idea in mind for a while. My boyfriend and I have been talking more seriously, more often, about relocating to Alaska. So I thought I'd make a memo board of Alaska for my craft area at home. The library has a really big area devoted to free books you can take and keep that we've removed from our collection for various reasons. And I had two really old travel books from Alaska handy, one of which contained a state map. So that's what I'm using on my canvas. Please feel free to visit the library. We have numerous free books and magazines available right now. And if you're unsure where they're located, just ask. They're perfect for this project. I decided to use Mod Podge to adhere the map to the canvas, which turned out to be a really bad idea. The ink and paper from the map did not stand up to the slightest of brush strokes with Mod Podge, so if you're going to do something of this sort, I'd recommend a better quality map or just hot glue it on the back only. Consider using any type of paper you have at home, like construction paper, wrapping paper, scrapbook paper, copy paper, or even notebook paper would look cool if you placed it on the canvas in different directions, even in different pieces. Or you could paint the canvas, or you could glue fabric to it, either one solid piece or a quilt pattern or collage style. So once I had the map and I had Mod Podged it to the canvas, I went around the sides to wrap the design to all the visible areas. You could fold your excess over like your gift wrapping, or you can trim off the extra pieces. While the map dried out, I began cutting out the pictures from the pages that I'd torn from those old Alaska travel books. Think about the different themed memo boards you could do like this with discarded books. Old comic books, fashion magazines, sports books and magazines, children's picture books, so many options. I ended up choosing some wildlife, some native art, some northern lights, and some landscape shots that I thought highlighted many of the things that I love. And then I set them on the canvas to kind of get an idea where I wanted them all laid out. There was a method to the madness. I left Juneau visible as a city I would most like to live in, and also some of the other words and locations evident behind the pics. This time I used hot glue to put all of the pictures on the board and that worked out really well, but I had to work quickly. And then I ended up having to go around the edges and reseal all the sides too. 
Next I had some thumbtacks that I pushed into the frame of the canvas at measured intervals and I used some thin twine to go in a zigzag pattern back and forth over the canvas. You could use yarn or ribbon for this and if you don't have thumbtacks you could drive small nails into the frame. If that's not an option, try sewing a button to the canvas itself and wrapping the string around those. And here's my finished Ugly Art Alaska Memo Board. For my second project, I'm not using canvas. I have this little photo frame that I got at Ikea. It was intended to be used in the Glowforge where I would etch a design on the glass, but the glass was actually plastic and not usable in the machine, so this frame's just been sitting around for a couple of years now, and I'm going to give it a makeover. I also have these felt flowers that I made for a program in May that I haven't had a clue how to use, so I'm going to do so today. I have two pieces of burlap and lace ribbon that will work to cover the frame and give it a more rustic look. I use one piece cut in half to do the long sides, hot gluing the front, side, and back, and then repeat on the other side. I use the second ribbon to do the short sides the same way I did and trim the excess. Because burlap has a tendency to fray, I hot glued like crazy all around any areas where I trim the ribbon. Using the eraser on my pencil, I could squish the ribbon onto the frame and not burn my fingers with the hot glue. This method worked really well without worry that the eraser would discolor or leave bits behind, but you can use other tools too. Next I took the backing for the frame and glued blue glitter paper to it for my background. Maybe you remember way back in February when we did lace clay bowls for a library program? I still had my doily from that which cleaned up nicely, so I also glued that to the blue glitter paper. Then all that was left to do was to pick my three favorite felt flowers, which were the ones that mimicked the lavender, and I twisted their stems together, glued them to the backing, and put the backing into the frame. A little rearranging and a tad more glue and I had 3D felt flower framed art. I just love repurposing things I'm not using and this will be a great little burst of color on my kitchen wall. Yolanda was able to come up from the youth department and make some art too. Yolanda's last day is Friday and I won't say that tears weren't shed but we did have some fun and this is what she made. She started off with a canvas and first she glued a colorful piece of a paper bag to one corner. Then she took a brown paper bag to cover the other side. With the piece of blue felt for the corner, she explained she was making a beach. She added rocks and shells and some really cool glitter ribbon trimmed down into smaller pieces looked a lot like coral or white caps of waves in the water. The highlight easily is the pom-pom panda chilling on the beach. And here is her finished memento of her last week working at the Round Lake Area Library. Is someone cutting onions again? If you're playing along with our summer reading club this year, this week's secret code word is basil. B-A-S-I-L. You can enter it in the Beanstack activity to get your next badge. It's really kind of amazing what you can do with a mishmash of things, and we hope you're inspired to step out of your comfort zone and try making something creative and different and completely off script. We thank you for joining us for Ugly Art and hope you enjoy making something really cool. Please post photos of your finished projects so we can all see what you've created too.